Hi guys, we're back in Inside Pro Cycling TV, and as we promised uh, the last time, we're going to come back to American Classic, and we did come back, and we're here with Bill Shook again, the owner and the uh, president of American Classic, and the brains behind the company. And uh, as we had talked about before, we talked about the importance of wheels. Now we're going to talk about what American Classic has in terms of wheels, and I'm, I'm going to actually get Bill to explain the different things that they have and how they as a company and in their innovations are different from the other wheels that are in the market. So, Bill, thanks very much for being here with us again. Well, you're and welcome. We got a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's get going. Okay. Let's take a look at your, your wheels here, one at a time. Okay, well this is our 420 wheel, and um, it's a 34 millimeter deep uh, mm -hmm. aluminum rim. It's a clincher rim. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very aerodynamic. and um, the, the rear wheel is a 24-spoke wheel, and we've done something a little special with this. Um, we've made it a what we call a three-group uh, spoking pattern. We are using 16 spokes on the drive side and eight spokes on the non-drive side. But because of the way we've uh, designed this, I've moved the flange out further to get more triangulation mm -hmm. on the non-drive side, and I've done that because using eight spokes on this side, 16 on this side, I can get better triangulation and I can get the tension in all the spokes to be absolutely equal. Wow. And this builds a very, very strong wheel. I also noticed that uh, the uh, valve hole is not perfectly centered. That's correct. There's got to be a, a method to the madness here. Oh, there is. <laughs> and, and this, this is a... Uh, neutral node in the way the, the rim is stressed, um, these spokes, when they're tensioned, pull the rim in towards center, and it tends to bow out away from center in between the spoke uh, loading. So there's a transition point where it's neither being bent in or out. Uh, it's transitioning between those, and this is this is the ideal position to put the valve hole because okay. it's the, the lowest so stress that's like point. a neutral area. It's like a neutral now, area. I, I noticed something that you showed me earlier, which I think it's really, really unique. And if you take a look, these, all these spokes are black, and then there's one white spoke here. Well, the white spoke and the off-color, let's say, spoke, on the American Classic wheels will always be the one closest to the valve, is that correct? That's correct. So you don't have to go hunting for the valve, <laughs> you can actually, it's a lot more uh, visible to have a spoke of a different color and that tells you exactly where the valve is. Yes. Really, really unique. And well, uh, I think that that's, this, this is your Aero 420, correct? Aero 420. Actually, what use would you, if you were a rider, what would you use this wheel for? Um, time trialing. Um, this is a more aerodynamic profile than, mm -hmm. than some of the others, but in order to get a deeper section, more aerodynamic profile, the rim is slightly heavier. By going with a slightly heavier and deeper section rim, we can go with fewer spokes, and all of this means time trial. Mm -hmm. uh, individual effort against the wind, okay. basically. But what we can do to make a, a different style of wheel is to lighten the rim by going with a shallower profile. Okay. Now, something like a Sprint 350, it's a lighter weight rim, but because it's shallower and lighter weight, we have to support it with more spokes. So... There's still only a 28 spokes here, right? This is only a 28 spoke wheel, um, so it's a few more spokes. Because the rim is lighter, it needs that support from the more spokes. So the ID idea here is that this is for acceleration. If you're riding in a pack where the wind is, is disturbed anyway, it's all turbulent anyway, and there's all these changes in speed, this is an ideal wheel because mm -hmm. the rim is lighter and you're going to be able to make those accelerations and spend less energy doing it. Right. 
Again, yeah. here you got the red spoke, and here's where the valve is. Yes. Well, one thing that I'm looking at when I when I see 28 spokes and you know 24 spokes and even 20 spokes, people probably who are riding nowadays don't remember that we used to ride on 36 spokes. <laughs> That's right. They probably don't make those anymore. Uh, probably not. And the reason we did that is because we had very very weak rims, very weak but rims. they were light. Very light. Yeah. They were very light, and the purpose was lightness in mm -hmm. the rim. And yes, you could give more spokes to support the rim and make the rim lighter. And it was a very fast accelerating wheel. Right. Now, speaking of light, now we got something extremely light here. And this is uh, another one of your creations, right? This is a magnesium rim. And this is a clincher rim, so you can use normal clincher tires on it. But it's, it's starting to get down to the weight of our old race tubulars. Mm -hmm. and. Um, when I first tested this, it was just like putting on my old race wheels. Um, uh, that old feeling mm -hmm. of the bike, the bike handled different because there was no gyroscopic effect from mm -hmm. the wheels, and and uh, it was just ah, oh, I remember this feeling. Oh, this is <laughs> nice, and they accelerate so fast. Now again, we got the white spoke and the valve right here. That's right. This is it's a really unique uh, concept, though. And uh, it's it's also very practical, you know. Sometimes you're hunting there for where the valve is, and here, you know, it couldn't be more visible than that. It's not more visible than that. <laughs> there, there's a lot of uh, hidden things in these wheels. Well, I, I understand what you were telling me before is the attention to detail it's that that you're giving things, and that's you know most of the things people don't even see, you know, that that is built in, that is engineered into. These, these wheels is that attention to detail that I think is characteristic of what you're doing and that can only be done by somebody who really loves what they're doing and I think that that, that is what's coming through right now. The more we yeah. talk, the more I realize that you walk, sleep, breathe, and eat uh, this stuff. You know? I, I build these for myself <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, and then I give them to my friends. Then you're going to do <laughs> Now you're in many yeah. countries, right Bill? You're, you're selling your we, wheels in many, We many sell places. all over the world and um, we do extremely well in Europe. And Excellent. Uh, well you know Inside Pro Cycling TV goes to 57 countries. We have people from 57 countries watching our shows and thank you very much guys for but uh, the idea is to keep bringing them more and more things like this, you know, interesting thing, not your typical interview, but something that people can really get some use out of. And then, you know, always be in the archives so people can always refer back to them. Now, there's a couple more things that we want to go to. We're running out of time right now. So how about if we take these couple more things in a, in a third interview? And, uh, you know, so that way we can give it the just time, the just amount of time. I think that you're giving us information here that's very valuable. and not just talking about your product, but about wheels in general. And I think it would be interesting to give it a little bit more time. So how about if we come back and see you again? Oh, I'd like that. Thanks, Bill. And thanks to you for being here with us. And uh, we'll be coming back with Bill at a shortly to bring you another segment of American Classic Products. Thank you. <laughs>